Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video about you know what a lot of Microsoft Dynamics RMS point of sale softwares our users are facing, and that's the you know the the mainstream end of life date is coming up here pretty quick, July of 2016 for new sales. And so a lot of RMS users are wondering what to do. You know, should I upgrade to the new retail management hero program? Should I look at MCR Counterpoint? Should I look at a, a tablet solution, cloud-based solution, et cetera, et cetera. Um, by far, this has been the most popular thing on my blog site and YouTube channel. Um, so I wanna, again, just do this video, it'll be an overview of the costs. And so the pro cons related to replacing Microsoft Dynamics RMS with either NCR Counterpoint or the new Retail Management Hero point of sale software. So why uh, this, this crazy numbers at the top? So basically, the reason I'm doing this, I have seven years of restaurant management experience, seven years of retail management experience, over 15 years of experience selling and supporting about 20 different point of sale systems, including RMS and CounterPoint, as well as cloud-based and uh, micros and some of the hospitality solutions. Worked with about over 4,600 businesses, of which uh, about 1,102 of you use RMS in your stores. Uh, so obviously that's a huge percentage of the folks that I know, and uh, that's why I'm doing this. And I, the, the point of sale company that I worked for went out of business in 2013. So this is completely unbiased, real world advice. Um, up until the time I actually start selling systems again, which we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, so some of the assumptions, your business, you're currently using RMS and you're on a current version. So it's version 2.x, we'll call it. You're located in the United States. You have at least one location, and each location is generating at least 500,000 in annual gross sales. You're not using HQ. You have two checkout lanes, and you have two back office computers running Microsoft RMS. Remember, you know, the lanes are the point of sale module, and the back office is the manager module. And the reason we're excluding HQ is because the HQ path is not quite as set at this point in time, which is January of 2016. Will likely not be until later to the end of 2016 before we know what will be happening on the HQ side of things as far as what your options will be. Also making the assumption that your hardware is less than three years old. You know, you're not using computers running XP and dot matrix receipt printers or any of that stuff. Also, for the sake of keeping this as brief and straight to the point as possible, we're going to assume that you're not interested in any of the mobile point of sale systems or anything cloud based. Obviously, all this information is subject to change. The cost of putting in here are only an estimate. It's going to vary by locale. You know, what you pay for service and support in Sioux Falls, South Dakota is probably going to be a lot less than if you're in New York City or Boston or Chicago or places like that. And also for keeping everything kind of simple here, we're only talking about your initial costs, not your ongoing costs, uh, you know, from year two forward. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start with, okay, we've got our Microsoft Dynamics RMS point of sale. So there's a couple of different paths we can take here. One, if you're current on maintenance and then you're looking at Retail Management Hero, which will be the you know, a direct replacement for RMS. Uh, if you're current on your maintenance, there'll be no charge to get your two-lane license of Retail Management Hero. And within that license, you get up to two managers or two ma users for the manager module. You do have to buy one year of maintenance, which will be $428.40 presently. It, because you are current on your maintenance, it'll just prorate. So if you have six months left in your current maintenance agreement, you'll buy a year, that means you have 18 months of maintenance. And then there's gonna be some labor involved. Again, I'm just estimating, but you know, they're gonna to have to, your, your, your retail management hero partner, dealer, bar, whatever you wanna call them, 
will be a technician coming in. They'll obviously have to convert the data. They'll have to install Retail Management Hero on the, all the computers, the four computers in this example, and probably give probably not too much training, but maybe we'll, we'll say a three or four hour overview of the differences between RMS and Retail Management Hero. And then you'll obviously want to get 90 days of support just in case you have any issues during the transition. So our total there is going to be 218840. Now, if you're not current on maintenance and you look at the Retail Management Hero, they are offering special pricing. So a two-lane license will be $500. And of course, the licenses include up to two manager users. We'll still have to buy that maintenance. Uh, it will not be prorated because you're not current on your maintenance. And then we'll still have the same sort of stuff when it comes to the data conversion, installation, training, things like that. And I'm just assuming that the labor rate in your market is $110 an hour. It might be a little bit on the low side, but that seems to be the average from what I've heard. And so now we're just shy of 2700 now, if you're not current on maintenance and you're looking at NCR Counterpoint, uh, which has been very popular for RMS users, and I've actually worked with about a, about a half dozen or so that have upgraded from RMS to Counterpoint. Um, so then with Counterpoint, of course, you're gonna have to buy your licenses. So 1,900 for a two lane license, 1,900 for a two manager license. We're gonna have to buy our maintenance. And then our labor, of course, is going to be higher because we're doing things like there's going to be a lot more training, a lot more installation, a lot more in-depth um, data conversion and, and things like that. It's just you know more time-consuming process. So we're coming in, you know, at ten thousand three hundred sixty-one sixty. I am assuming that there is a twenty percent discount on this for the pricing because that is what uh, one of the larger NCR Counterpoint Partners is offering to RMS users is a 20% discount and free data conversion. So obviously that affects the price as well. So before you go jumping and saying, well, why the heck would I look at NCR Counterpoint? Let's look at some of the pros and cons between Retail Management Hero and NCR Counterpoint. Again, all things being equal and using the, you know, the criteria we've, we've established. So obviously there's a pro, there is a cost. Obviously, Retail Management Hero will be a very low cost upgrade. It's very similar to, you know, we had Quixel 2000 and then Microsoft acquired that and you know, we came out with Microsoft Dynamics RMS. There was a very low cost and easy upgrade path. The uh, advantage that Retail Management Hero will work with your existing equipment in most cases. You'll keep all your existing data, including your historical data. And, you know, all involved it just it makes for a very easy transition on the con side at, you know i know the folks at retail hero are doing their best to make sure this program is tried tested and true before it comes out and is actually being utilized in businesses but a new program is a new program you never know what's going to crop up um, the other thing is obviously we're still waiting on who the heck is going to sell install and support Retail Management Hero. Um, that probably will not be known until I'm guessing maybe March of this year, 2016, maybe April. We still have some variables related to the headquarters for Retail Management Hero, various add-ons, and you, know, you look at like online shopping carts and using Retail Management Hero on mobile devices, things like that, um, which I guess add-ons and enhancements kind of goes hand in hand. Still, you know, there's still some uncharted waters there that we're, we're waiting on more details quite patiently and anxiously. So then we can switch over to pro cons for NCR Counterpoint. Obviously, the big pros are, it, it's definitely a more robust program. This is something that, you know, would easily scale up to someone with 300 or 500 locations if you uh, end up down that road. Uh, Counterpoint by far has the most cool 
integrated add-ons for point of sale programs, you know, the CP Mobile for using CounterPoint on mobile devices, iPads, iPhones, you know, line busting, offsite sales, things like that. Having integrated shopping carts, so you know your, your online store and your bricks and mortar, brick and mortar store share the same inventory. Having push alerts, uh, email marketing, you know, all sorts of stuff that's built right into the program. And so another thing that RMS users are quick to point out is, you know, CounterPoint's not being abandoned by NCR. Microsoft has basically washed their hands of RMS and let it, you know, the, the, the code and the database be sold off to other companies. So it's not a huge concern, but it's just kind of, you know, it was, it's disappointing. Whereas we know NCR invests millions of dollars each year in, in developing and improving CounterPoint. And I mentioned that CounterPoint has that multi-location already there. Now, obviously the cons on CounterPoint, this is not for a business doing under a million, maybe, maybe 800 to a million in annual gross sales, but below that, there's just, there's no cost justification to use CounterPoint. Um, there are some cons as far as the hardware compatibility. It's not quite as flexible as RMS. And of course, there's fewer us users of NCR CounterPoint. You know, you look at maybe seven or 8,000 businesses using NCR CounterPoint versus, yeah, according to Retail Realm, about 50,000 stores using RMS. It's just proven that you know counterpoint can be too much for some businesses. It's just it, it's overkill. It's like buying way beyond what you need and then never using what you've invested in to its fullest extent. So final recommendations: uh, if you're a single location RMS user whose gross annual sales is under eight hundred thousand, you know you're happy with RMS. You don't need any of the advanced features that CounterPoint offers, then you know focus on looking at Retail Management Hero. Now, if you're an RMS user and you have one or more locations and your annual gross sales per location is over 800,000, and or you have a need for advanced features and or need a completely new point of sale system due to you know having old equipment, I would take a look at both Retail Management Hero and CounterPoint. Uh, reason being that you can kind of weigh the costs, features, functions, et cetera, and see what looks best to you and what would be the best investment, the best solution moving forward. So I hope that all makes sense. I went through it quickly, but I'll put my contact information in the video description in case you have questions. Thanks.